What's up guys and welcome back to Software Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty in general, every single Call of Duty out there. So Call of Duty Vanguard, Call of Duty Cold War, Warzone and Modern Warfare, right? Every single game you play through Battle.net itself and today I'm going to show you how to fix your game crashing to the desktop while you are playing the game, while you're in a lobby, while you are doing whatever on your Call of Duty and then all of a sudden all you hear is boom and your screen goes black, completely black, your game freezes, you need to press control to lead to close the game. Sometimes that doesn't work. Then you need to press control or alt F4, whatever the case might be. If that also doesn't work. Then you need to restart your computer. This has been happening with me, with Warzone and Modern Warfare, and I found a fix for it. Now, there's two things I did and one of them worked. Okay. Now, for a few PCs out there, for a few people out there, it depends on the machine that you're running, which one is going to work for you. All right. Okay. So like I said before, this is for every single Call of Duty out there. It's not just for Warzone. It will work for Warzone. It will work for all CODs. Okay. So just follow my guidelines and you should be good to go. All right. So every single person out there knows that every time Call of Duty does an update, uh, the game's fucked. Right. And it gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. It's like the developers don't know what they're doing and they don't want to fix their fucking stupid broken ass game. Right. We love COD. We love playing it, but it's completely fucked and the developers aren't caring about their game. So we need to help the people out there in the community to, you know, fix the game for them. So I help the people out there as much as I can because I've ran into these problems and I fixed it myself. And now I'm sharing the information with you guys. All right. So let's hope that these any two of these methods works for you guys and if it does leave a like leave a comment subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new year and i'll appreciate every single comment and like down below to know this worked for you all right this is the first one and we're going to go over method one and then two all right so number one is i'm going to go out of this and say exit i'm just going to exit my battle net completely and be on my desktop all right so let's start from fresh overs from the start all right so the first thing you're going to need to do is open up battle net itself and to say yes to it and make sure your battle net is up to date literally make sure that your battle net is up to date if your battle net is not up to date it will show a little green thing here at the top to let you update your battle net itself always make sure your battle net is up to date all right the first thing you're going to need to do is go over here where it says play you go to options and go to show in explorer now i'm just going to show this to you guys all right as you click show in explorer it shows call of duty modern warfare and it will be highlighted Right? When you click on this one over here, one back, it's going to say your Call of Duty. Now, I renamed this. As you can see, I renamed it myself. Yours might just be called Call of Duty or whatever the case might be. Don't worry. It will be called something, but it will be highlighted. Okay? So, when you go into it, it will say Call of Duty Modern Warfare. All right. So, you go inside here, go inside this folder, scroll all the way down, and go to Call of Duty or Modern Warfare Launcher.exe. And then Modern Warfare exe alone right you're going to right click on the first one go to properties go to compatibility mode and you're going to say this will disable full screen optimization run this program and administrator and then you're going to say apply once you're done with that you're going to say change high dpi settings you're going to click on this box over here i sign into windows make sure it's on this click on high dpi scaling override tick on this box make sure it's on application don't put it on anything else application say okay say apply and then from here you're going to say change settings for all users i highly recommend you go and do this because a lot of people share computers maybe like brother and sister or brother and brother or whatever the case might be and you're sharing computers if that's the case or even if it's not the case i don't share my pc with anyone i still go ahead and do this i highly recommend you go ahead and do this these two over here again apply this one over here this when I sign into Windows, this one up here, application, okay, apply, okay, and then you're going to say okay. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to modernwarfare.exe and do the exact same thing. So compatibility mode, disable full screen optimization, run this program and administrator, say apply. Change IDPI settings, this one up here, I sign into Windows, this one up here, application, okay, and then apply. Right. Once you're done with that, you're going to choose this one over here as well, and you're going to do the exact same thing again one more time right once you're done with that you say okay you say apply you say okay and you say okay now this is the first method and this would help for most people in this case but there's another step if this didn't work for you so this is why i'm doing these two steps there's two steps you're going to take to see which one works for you and which one actually fixes your game and then you can let me know in the comments down below um if this actually worked for you 
I really do appreciate every single person commenting down below and leaving likes if this worked for you and you're not having any more problems with your Call of Duty, whatever, which Call of Duty you are playing. All right. Once you're done with this, this is what you're going to need to do to get this game up and running perfectly fine. All right. So once you're done with that and you close out of this and you go and play your game and it still crashes, um, I highly recommend you go ahead and do this. I do also recommend by doing that that you just did, okay, before you even go and play COD, now like Warzone or whatever the case might be, follow this step. You're going to go to options, you're going to go to show an explorer, and it's going to show you where Call of Duty is installed, right? You go one back, and it's going to take you to the folder where your Call of Duty is installed, right? You're going to go here, you're going to make a new folder, and I'm just going to call it uh, Call of Duty... Um, I don't know, just, okay, just, just Call of Duty, right? I'm just going to call it Call of Duty, right, cool. So we go to the previous folder with Call of Duty Modern Warfare in it, right-click on it and say cut. You're going to go one back and go to the folder you just made, which is called Call of Duty or whatever you called it, right? Paste it inside here and go one back and go to the folder that you previously were in where there's nothing in it right now, right-click on it and say delete, delete the folder itself. Now you have Call of Duty over here moved into a new folder. Once you're done with that, you just close out of this. It's going to say install or locate the game. Now, before you do anything, yours might say play or it might say install or locate the game. But before you do any of these two things, you're going to go to Battle.net itself and you're going to exit it. Once you're done with that, you open it up again. You say yes, you launch your Battle.net again, let it sign into your account, and then you are going to do this over here, right? You're going to say locate the game. You're going to go where your Call of Duty is installed. So obviously this one over here, Call of Duty. Now, there's two things that people need to know. Number one is this is not going to work for you, right? When you say select this folder. Number two, you have to go into this folder, then click on Call of Duty Modern Warfare and say select folder. Now it's going to say waiting, initializing, and then play. Now your Call of Duty is going to be fixed because this worked for me and my game does not crash anymore. If this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to me to channel if you're new year. Ladies and gentlemen, all I want to do is help people out there with the Call of Duty community itself. Um, and yeah, I do play COD. I'm called Cozy ZA. And yeah, I just want to help the community. That's all I want to do is help every single person out there with every Call of Duty out there, because it seems like the developers don't care about their fucking game. So, yeah, we need people to actually, you know, help us. People that know what they're doing, you know, that, that also try to help the community, because the fuck knows what the developers are doing, because they're not helping the community. We need people to help us, okay? So, I found this for me to work, so I'm hoping this works for you guys. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new year. And as always, peace.